morning everybody welcome back to the channel uh, so uh, continues to rain we did manage to get some rolling done on the light land this week after the terror start uh, we were talking a couple of weeks ago about what to do it was a lot of suggestions that I rake it and I would have loved to have but this sort of uh, mustard residue would have been an absolute nightmare so I actually just went through and rolled it pushed it down uh, I thought that sort of dealt with the uh, post terror star on Lightland so I thought I'd go out for a walk this morning and just look at the post terror star on heavy land here you can see we've still got plenty of uh, surface water and just a reminder that we did this in the frost and you can see places where sort of a chunk of residue is left on the surface Again here but what you can also see is that sort of field scale wise it's had no effect on the black grass unlike that light land where it's pretty much achieved sort of 70 to 80 percent control of the black grass now my issue with the heavy land is that we're getting big strong black grass plants like this uh, i have seen even worse examples but sort of like this guy here He's about as big as well, the palm of my hand. Now, we have had a situation in this block before where we drilled into a carpet of black grass and we definitely suffered alleopathy there. So this is a field of black grass. It, it is mostly black grass. It was planted to mustard. Um, uh, but it is as you can see mostly black grass now hormones secreted by the black grass uh, resulted in uh, reduced germination of the wheat now building on those results we did a carrier pass so we did a carrier pass in some spring wheat last year pre-drilling so glyphosate carrier drill I think we also then went through with a uh, with the weeder to generate a super fine crumb before rolling so after the carrier we did come through with our weeder and just came through once more and just dislodged a few more black grasses moved it around it's actually generated a very fine crumb and it's drilling really nicely and in that case we got a better plant population and a better yield with a comparable field next door that was just direct drilled so even though when it was crop judged the crop judges thought the non-moved crop look, looked better we got a better yield out of the moved ground I was talking to Soil Capital this week and they we were doing the assessment of my home farm for the, putting it on the platform for this year. Looks like we've achieved uh, sort of seven tonnes of carbon a hectare, so that's great news. Certainly helped the bottom line. But the point they were making was that if it's more than 30% soil movement, then it counts as minimal tillage going on the results from the terra blade that's going to count as minimal tillage so i might as well just go ahead and do a carrier where i know i can move uh, all of the soil and as in the whole of the soil plane will move i'm not going to get any ridging of unmoved ground and that will also help me uh, pull up these plants these black grass plants on the light land we we did a pass with uh, with a tiny pigtail cultivator a couple of weeks ago 
and actually when you turn the plants upside down I can see the roots regrowing from the black grass so even though it's pulled them up they are trying to regrow so on the weight of it I would prefer to go with carrier than a pigtail uh, just to get that full ground movement uh, right well thank you very much for watching uh, please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and click on the little bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live. See you next time. Bye.